dead cool that I'm constantly breaking the fourth wall. I'm Jessica Chobot and this is Nerdist News. It's been several months now since fans literally willed a Deadpool movie into existence. Good job, you guys. And we're finally starting to get some little trickles of info about what the Merc with the Mouth's first solo feature is going to be like. We got our very first glimpse at Deadpool's costume in the flick via Ryan Reynolds' Twitter, and it's looking just right. None of that weak sauce Baraka from Mortal Kombat meets Powder from Powder shit. Nope, we're getting what looks like a comics accurate Deadpool and that, my friends, is a good thing. Next, we've had a flurry of casting calls for mysterious roles with fake names like Simon, Shirley, Karen, and Ridge that finally got cleared up by comicbookmovie.com. Based on her character description, Karen is likely Angel Dust, the leader of underground mutant group The Morlocks, who will be played by MMA fighter Gina Carano. Simon is probably fan favorite Deadpool sidekick Weasel, to be played by the perfectly cast TJ Miller. Shirley is almost definitely Blind Al, the visually impaired old woman Wade Wilson rooms with and Ridge, as CBM pointed out, is probably the film's big bad Ajax, who in the comics is more or less Deadpool's first supervillain. He'll be played by Ed Screen, aka the original Dario Naharis from Game of Thrones. Remember him and his flowing blonde locks? <sighs> I don't either. But there's something else of note about Deadpool's casting call. Each role is noted to include either three sequel options or three series options. Now that is interesting. With the sequel options, it's easy to see that Fox is hoping for a whole Deadpool franchise, but with separate series options, it sounds like the studio is hoping to have some of the characters in Deadpool cross over to their other X flicks. While it'd be cooler to see the mutants jump ship to Marvel a la Spider-Man, it's still pretty rad that Fox is working hard to give them a cinematic universe of their own. And on that note, we've told you in the past that a lot of Deadpool's script feels like a buddy comedy co-starring Wade and everyone's favorite metallic Russian mutie, Colossus. We've been wondering whether the movie would reuse Daniel Cudmore, the super American actor who's played the role in X2, The Last Stand, and Days of Future Past, and now we have our answer. Cudmore tweeted a goodbye to his Colossus fans this week as director Tim Miller will apparently find a new Peter Rasputin for Deadpool. Can we suggest Vladimir Putin? After all, he's got the physique for it. <laughs> Seriously though, since I'm sure they want to skew young, how about Russian-American Army Hammer? He does a pretty decent accent in the trailer from Man From U.N.C.L.E. Just putting it out there! Oh. Actually, I'm even ashamed of myself for that one. So what do you guys think? More excited for Deadpool than ever? Thrilled to see all these bonus mutants? Hankering for a chimichanga? Yep. Let me know in the comments below. Click my face to subscribe. Malik says new media is the future of gaming on play and head on over to Nerdist.com for even more Nerdist news. I said I ate some bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I said I ate some bananas. <laughs>